Hi boys and girls, welcome to Mr. Lee's Music Lab. The video I just played for you is the virtual orchestra project performed by our very own YYPS Symphony Orchestra. The piece that they just played is Promenade, a movement from a larger collection of pieces called Pictures at an Exhibition. When Russian composer Modest Mussorgsky first wrote Pictures at an Exhibition, he wrote it as a tribute for his friend, Victor Hartman, an artist who just passed away. With his music, Mussorgsky tried to create a scenery of his friend's art gallery, with each movement describing a different piece of Hartman's artwork. Promenade, the piece that the orchestra just played for you, is the first of ten movements in this collection. Promenade is a description of Mussorgsky himself walking through the art gallery, thinking about his friend. Promenade was performed beautifully by our orchestra members, despite the fact that we couldn't gather for rehearsals during the school suspension period. I'm very proud of them and I hope you are too. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> if you want to check out the amazing virtual orchestra performance video again, make sure to visit the YYPS Music Department YouTube channel later. The video will be uploaded after the show. Next up, it's Mr. Lee's turn to perform for you. And for this purpose, I have invited a very special guest to join us. This special guest is one of my most important music teachers. He really influenced how I viewed music and he made me a better musician. So let us welcome my brother. Hi, I'm Doobie. And I guess you're also Mr. Lee, right? Yeah, you can say that. Doobie is my twin brother, but as you can see, we look nothing alike. That's because we're actually fraternal twins. And Doobie is actually one minute older than me, so I'm the younger brother. Although we don't look alike, we used to have a very similar voice. And when we were kids, our parents can't really tell us apart if we were talking over the phone. It could be because our phones were quite crap back then as well, right? Uh, that is a possibility. So, back to music. I did say that Doobie is a very important music teacher of mine, right? That's because when we were kids, I wasn't really into music. I was more of a sports person. But Doobie, on the other hand, he was always a very hardworking musician. He'd be practicing day and night, writing music past midnight all the time, and eventually he inspired me. I wanted to become a better musician just like him, so I practiced really hard. and. Even when I got into music school, he'd be tutoring me, teaching me all about music theory and musicianship. So without Doobie's help, I'll never be the musician I am today. Um, I think you're exaggerating a little. But yeah, Merrick used to be more of a sports person. He wasn't really down to music. 
then somehow during high school we started playing music together. And you forced me to practice for hours every day. Hours. Um, are you sure about that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we will be performing for you Don't You Worry About a Thing by Stevie Wonder. And our performance is actually arranged by Doobie. Yes, and for this arrangement, I'll be playing the drums, guitar, and keyboard. I will be in charge of vocals and bass. Enjoy! Everybody's got a thing But some don't know how to handle Reaching out in vain Just taking the things not worth having Don't you worry about a thing Don't you worry about a thing, mama Cause I'll be standing on the sea when you Check it out They say your star of life's a drag And that you must go other places Just don't you feel too bad When you get fooled by smiling faces don't you worry about a thing Don't you worry about a thing, baby Cause I'll be standing on the side when you check it out When you get off your track Don't you worry about a thing I hope you enjoyed our performance. It has been quite some time since I last performed with Doobie, so thanks for coming. I also had a lot of fun today, so thanks for inviting. So before you leave, do you have any last words for students? Um, remember to practice, or Mr. Lee will be upset. Oh, uh, thanks. Around three weeks ago, I have sent an invitation to you all asking you to send in videos of yourself performing music at home. I was pleasantly surprised because in the past couple of weeks, I've received so many amazing submissions and it was very, very difficult for me to choose which ones are going to go on the show today. 
In the end, I've chosen four videos to share with you in this episode of Mr. Lee's Music Lab. The first performance that I'm going to share with you today is a piano solo by Jasper from MAA4. Jasper will be playing for us Jue de Op, and in English, Jue de Op means the harper. When composer Sibelius wrote this piece, he was really inspired by the arpeggiated patterns and gentle cadences in harp music, so you will be hearing a lot of that in this performance. I really like Jasper's playing of this piece because he played with a lot of expressive phrasing. So, let's have Jasper take it away. Thank you so much, Jasper, for your awesome performance. Next up, we will be having a vocal solo by Hansen from ALS1. Hansen will be singing for us a song called Consider Yourself, and this is a very popular tune from the musical Oliver. This song has so much positive energy in it, many other shows such as Sesame Street and The Muppets picked it up and performed their own versions of it. In a moment's time, you will hear Hansen performing the song with a very relaxed and gentle tone. Have a listen. Hi, my name is Hanson. Today I'm going to sing a song called Consider Yourself. performance features two musicians, Mirak from ASJ2 and Rackle from KLL2. The sisters will be playing for us Prelude from Shostakovich's Five Pieces for Two Violins. Throughout the performance, Mirak and Rackle performed with great ensemble skills. They were constantly listening to each other, creating delicate and harmonious phrasing. So, let us appreciate Mirak and Rackle's performance.
last performance I'm going to show you today is a trumpet solo by Taffy from BIM6. You might recognize Taffy from the virtual orchestra video we showed you earlier because Taffy is the principal trumpet and soloist for the YYPS Symphony Orchestra. Taffy will be playing a piece called Urana in the Sky by Japanese composer Keijiro Koroku. Taffy performed this piece with wonderful technique and beautiful tone. So let us enjoy her performance. Taffy actually only played a short section for Urara in the Sky. So if you want to hear her full performance, make sure you click the link in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed the wonderful music performed by our schoolmates. If you submitted a video to me but could not see it today in this episode, please do not be discouraged. Like I said, many of you sent me amazing performances. I just couldn't include all of them in the short airtime we have. Regardless, I have to say, I really appreciate all of your effort, practicing continuously even during the quarantine. Before we move on to the next segment of our show, please note that we are accepting video submissions of your performances again for the next episode of Mr. Lee's Music Lab. If you want to share with us your music, make sure you record your performance and send it to music.dept at yyps.edu.hk. Try to limit the length of your video to two minutes. I look forward to seeing more of your performances. For the last segment of this show, I will perform for you with a very unusual instrument. Those of you who have watched the promotional video of MVP would have had a glimpse of it. So, this right here is the automaton. The automaton is an electronic instrument that runs on battery. Doobie actually got this for me last year when he went to Japan. So you turn on the instrument by flipping the switch at the back. And afterwards, all you have to do is press the fingerboard and you will create sounds. The automaton sort of works like a string instrument, such as the guitar or the violin. On the fingerboard, the further down I press, the higher the pitch I'll get. You can make some interesting sound effects with the automaton. If I slide on the fingerboard, I can make glisses. I can also bend the sound if I squeeze the automaton's face. To show you the musical capabilities of the automaton, I have written an arrangement and I'll perform this arrangement for you. This arrangement is for a song that's really popular. I think a lot of you are really familiar with it. So sit back, relax and enjoy my performance.
This is the end of this episode of Mr. Lee's Music Lab. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to rewatch any of the highlights from this episode, you can visit the YYPS Music Department YouTube channel. You can also come back to the MVP channel later when we re-upload the stream. The next episode of Mr. Lee's Music Lab will air three weeks later, on the 12th of June. I look forward to seeing you there. Bye!